Hi guys, good evening, it's Ashley Horner. I just posted on my Facebook page about a few hours ago that um, for you guys to post up your questions and I was going to do a live question and answer session. I said I was going to answer one to two questions a night and I'm actually going to answer three questions tonight. So, um, first question is coming from Mallory and she wanted to know why I chose the WBFF over the NPC and IFBB when it came to competitions. Um, and the reason for that is actually uh, very simple in my mind. I chose the WBFF because I love the glamour that comes with the competition. Um, it's about having um, an extremely fit body, of course, but for the division that I'm competing in, which is the fitness modeling division, um, fitness modeling diva, I love the fact that I can have a costume on stage. And um, it really gave me a chance to use my personality a little bit and, um, you know, feel kind of sexy. It's kind of like a Victoria's Secret fashion show but the models are kind of fit. So um, I really enjoy that. That's a lot of fun. And also the girls that represent the WBFF um, were all close. So um, Jin Jewel, Chatty, uh, I know all those girls. And it's always great to see them at expos. You know, um, it's always a competition, but it's a friendly competition. And at the end of the day, we're all sisters in fitness just trying to inspire one another and everybody else who's coming to the fitness world. So that's why I chose the WBFF, and I really love it. Um, so thank you, Mallory. That was a good question. Um, second question is from Allison Burke, and she wanted to know, how do I keep my head up and push on even when I feel like I'll never reach my goals? Um, Allison, that's a great question, actually, and if you're feeling this way, the chances are um, you have set a goal too far to reach for yourself. Um, I have long-term goals that I've set for myself, like things that I want to achieve in a year, things that I want to achieve or reach in five years, but along that timeline, I also have little goals that I want to hit and reach all along the way, and that's what helps keep me keeps me accountable. So I'll set a main goal at the end, but I'll have the short-term goals that I will gradually hit that in long term I will um, reach my my main goal that I have set for myself if that makes sense so and if you're feeling a little bummed out or like you're you're you know not able to reach your goals fast enough then um, you know just take a step back and refocus your goals um, even simple things especially when it comes to the health and fitness industry just having a new uh, a new iPod playlist um, to listen to when you work out or grabbing a new workout buddy or, you know, researching online some new workouts to add in, into your leg day routine to help get, keep, get you motivated and keep you uh, motivated and accountable as well. So that was a good question. Thank you, Allison. Um, last question that I'm going to answer tonight is uh, from Andy Williams. And the question is, what is the hardest part about doing a show and what should you look like four weeks out? That's another great question. The hardest part about doing any show is the mental. You have to mentally be strong. Um, I, I say this, I've said this from the beginning, um, it's the mental determination and the mental drive that will set the winners um, ahead of the people who may not continue on with the competition or who may pull out the last four weeks. Um, four weeks out, um, for, for me, I think that everybody's body is, is different, but for me, um, my body doesn't really, I, I'll stay lean and my muscles will stay full, but I don't really see a huge change, um, until two weeks out. And I think the four week mark, whenever you're four weeks out, you know your show's a month away and that's whenever you start getting really nervous and you're constantly looking in the mirror and you're thinking that you're not lean enough and you know you're starting to cut your diet a little bit increase your your cardio and that's when your mind starts playing some kind of crazy stuff so um, don't let your mind play games on you just stay the course um, you should be lean but you know whenever it comes to the competition week of that's whenever you start dehydrating and pulling your sodium and that's whenever your body changes uh, the most in my opinion is the last 48 hours so four weeks out don't let yourself go crazy 
Um, just do what you know and um, don't listen to how everybody else says, oh, this worked for me or that works for me or your trainer's having you do that. That's crazy. So whatever the plan was, stick with the plan. Um, you can also, it, it'll just drive you crazy if you're listening to like five different people telling you that they did five different things and that's the right five different ways that they should be doing it and that you're doing it wrong. So, um, and then that's, it's all about a learning process. You know, you do a show and, um, you know, it's important to journal too all, all along the way because you think that you're going to remember it, but after the show and everything's over and, um, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, I don't really remember what I was doing four weeks out or how I looked or how I felt. So it's really important to journal, even journal your thoughts a little bit. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, thank you, Andy, for that question. That was another great question. And um, I hope you guys have a really good night. I'm going to start doing these YouTube videos for you guys so I can kind of answer a few more questions and stay connected with you guys on a more personal level. Um, so yeah, you guys have a good week. It is Wednesday here, so happy Wednesday hump day. My name is Ashley Horner, and I'll see you guys soon.